Marsh scores a fine century to help Glamorgan gain a first innings lead at Bristol. Delanger led from the front for Glamorgan on day one at Bristol, taking five for 62 to restrict Gloucestershire to a first innings score of 236. The visitors then reached 26 without loss before the close of play and Selman and Murphy returned to the middle on day two, looking to give their side a good foundation. The pair batted well, picking up boundaries and they took their opening stand past 50. Their partnership was, however, soon brought to an end. Higgins the man to get the breakthrough, Selman gone for 28. That brought Sean Marsh to the crease, who looked in good form. The Australian international was unable to gain momentum, however, as the players were forced off the field due to bad light. The weather didn't improve and lunch was taken with the score 70 for 1. Conditions eventually improved and Murphy and Marsh continued as if there hadn't been any interruption at all. The pair looked comfortable as their partnership surpassed 50. Van Buren did manage to find a breakthrough though, wrapping the pads of Murphy to send him packing for 47. In came Carlson, who supported Marsh to his fine half century. The pair continued to play well and Marsh put on a batting masterclass, whilst Carlson also looked in good touch at the other end. Gloucestershire failed to take another wicket before tea, the score 194 for two at the break. A superb session for Glamorgan, closing in on Gloucestershire's first inning score only two wickets down. Marsh well set on 79 not out, looked to push on as the evening session got underway and remained untroubled by the Gloucestershire attack as he helped give his side the lead. At the other end, Carlson batted well and made 45 before he was caught behind off Howell. That brought Donald to the crease, who supported Marsh to his superb century. A very classy innings from the Australian international, who looked to push on with his new partner Donald. Worrell eventually got the wicket that Gloucestershire most desperately needed, Higgins taking the catch to bring Marsh's fine knock of 111 to an end. In came Cook, who batted sensibly with Donald as the pair attempted to build a solid partnership. Higgins managed to find the edge though, to send Donald packing for 27. Cook was joined in the middle by Lloyd and the pair successfully batted through until Stumps, finishing on 296 for five. A good day all round for the visitors, who scored 270 runs in the day, giving them a current first innings lead of 60 runs with five wickets remaining. Sean Marsh, the obvious standout performer with his fine century. With him gone though, Gloucestershire will hope that they can get quick wickets on day three to stay in the game and restrict Glamorgan from getting a significant first innings lead.